Hi everyone, this is Jan Wilczek from thewolfsound.com and in this video we are going to present what is the probability density function of a sum of two independent random variables. It is a very important application of the convolution and the convolution property of the Fourier transform. So let's start with the theorem. Given two independent random variables x and y, the probability density function of their sum is the convolution of the probability density function of x and the probability density function of y. It is very important to stress here that x and y need to be independent, which means that the probability density function, the joint probability density function of x and y, which is typically denoted as fxy, is equal to the multiplication of fx and fy. So, in other words, the joint probability distribution of x and y factorizes into the individual probability density functions of these two random variables. Before we do the actual proof, we need to introduce the concept of a characteristic function. A characteristic function phi x is the expectation of e to j omega x. So it's a characteristic function of a random variable x. And we may observe that it is equivalent to the Fourier transform of the probability density function of x, but with the negated argument x. And this will be very important to conclude our proof. Now, to compute the probability density function of a sum of x and y, which are, again, two independent random variables, we will start with calculating the characteristic function of x plus y. So, according to the definition, the characteristic function of x plus y is the expectation of e to j omega x plus y. Now, this will be an expectation over two random variables. And in this expectation, we need to take the joint probability density function of x and y, which is denoted fxy, and we need to integrate over both x and y. And here, the important part is that x and y are independent. So this joint probability density function factorizes into fx and fy. Thanks to this property, we may separate these both integrals. And it turns out that uh, the first integral is the characteristic function of x, and the second integral is the characteristic function of y. So we found out that the characteristic function of x plus y is equal to phi x times phi y. But it's important to stress here that it's only for independent variables, otherwise we wouldn't be able to factorize the joint probability density function. With this discovery, let us now go back to our interpretation of the characteristic function as the Fourier transform with a negated argument. We may observe that phi x plus y of minus j omega, so with a negated frequency argument, is equivalent to the probability density function of x plus y in the random variable domain. Let's keep in mind that x plus y is still a one-dimensional variable. With this in mind, that the characteristic function of x plus y with a negated argument is equivalent to the probability density function of x plus y in the random variable domain, combined with the fact that the characteristic function of x plus y is equal to the multiplication of phi x and phi y, and combined with the convolution property of the Fourier transform, which means that the multiplication in the Fourier transform domain is equivalent to convolution in the other domain, in this case, random variable domain, gives us that the probability density function of x plus y 
is equal to the convolution of fx and fy. So the probability density functions of x and y. And this concludes our proof. This proof can be extended to an arbitrary number of random variables, but all of them need to be mutually independent. Otherwise, we won't be able to factorize their joint probability density function into individual probability density functions. If you are interested in reviewing this uh, proof in a written form, I highly encourage you to check out the full article over at dwolfsound.com, which I have linked to in the description below. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn off notifications in order not to miss out on the upcoming videos because we're barely just getting started. Thanks for watching and take care.